DPS artist Valton bus ride. Uh, I, don't, I probably don't have to explain the build. So basically, you just go all damage engravings with her special class engraving that gives that is re uh, related to um, providing damage. Okay, so I mean, uh, the playstyle, the playstyle of DPS artists is you just spam a lot of skills AOE. Uh, and there's a self buff that increases my crit rate. So, with the cooldown as well, conviction judgment. So what you're what you're focusing on is, you I cast my Q and F skill and my D skill to have additional crit rate, and then I I proceed to use my other skills. So I use my crit skills here, right? And then I use my attack buff. And then I can proceed to attack him. Wow. The problem with uh, DPS artist though is she's too squishy. <clears throat> and I don't know if she's going to have enough... Um, Enough stagger. That's my that's my problem. When you're doing this stagger gimmick, that's what I'm scared about. So DPS isn't a lower end compared to my other guys. Obviously because of the DPS artist. Okay, so a little less DPS, but it's not it's not too slow. It's not like super slow. It's because I got I keep getting hit. The DPS sticks are pretty tight for her, but this should be this is this is done. So that's done. Cause you need to reach 30, right? So I need to wait here. Circle around, three. Okay, works, nice. <clears throat> she has just enough stagger.
So, as I explained on some, most of my uh, bus ride videos, right? Uh, at the top left, top left is the Esther gauge. The Esther gauge needs to be filled up in order for me to do the next... Uh, do the next mechanic. So, before that next one fills up... Before that next one fills up, I gotta make sure... Like, I do all the DPS. Because the, the mechanic starts at 15 bars. This kids, I need to make it to. This is like two v one right now. I gotta get out of the situation quick. Gotta like lead him somewhere. Yep, nice. So he has twenty two bars. And my Esther gauge is almost up, so the timing is not really off right now. The timing is not bad. It's not like it's not like it's not like I'm in a dangerous situation. It's like uh, where you run out of time because like I don't do enough DPS. So the DPS is, DPS is fine. It's not as bad as it's not as bad as I thought. But Esther gauge is almost up. So I'm just gonna keep doing the DPS as much as I can so that There you go, the Esther gauge is up Obviously I'm just gonna keep attacking him so that he, he starts the uh, He starts his gimmick There you go, he's gonna start his gimmick now Circle around, throw my bomb, my W, and my E skill will completely do it. Nice. Yeah, so she works. Her stagger is enough. Because some classes, the stagger tends to be like really hard to do. But she's in the easier side. There you go. Shoop, shoop. Now remember, remember he has another gimmick. Uh, I gotta save my space bar, and when this thing becomes a lock sign, I'm gonna press the space bar to dodge his uh, dodge his CC attack. But it's not turning. It's not. It's not. It's not locking up right now. So what he does is like he does like a huge, huge fear attack, and it happens when the bar. When the bar becomes uh, when the bar becomes uh, locked, right now, see, right here. So I dodge this fear attack to save a lot of time, right? Because if you get hit by that, it's like it just does a lot of it. It it doesn't do enough damage, right, to kill me, but I waste a lot of time because you don't. I gotta kill him in two minutes, right? But six bars in two minutes is completely doable, easy. Unless I get hit like that all the time. At the same time, I'm getting my Esther gauge as well, so I'm, I'm pretty safe. So he's doing that again. So using that smash, right? But I space dodge that. You guys gotta practice. You guys gotta practice that one day. 
Using your space bar at like a CC timing is pretty important. It's like using your iframes for uh, playing um, uh, like Dark Souls or something. I'm gonna spawn Thyrain twice. Oh, never mind. Good, it works. It's pretty tight, it's pretty slow, but it works. So Valton, always same thing. Charge him up, you know? Make him hit the wall. Just doing this here, not very, not very complicated at the moment. <clears throat> Same thing. You just have to make him, I don't know, crash into the wall. That's all you need to do. Your boy Thyrain's coming! Come on, Thyrain. Break him up. See? Easy. Break his close up so I can do more damage. So very simple, right? It's very simple here so far. Sorry for not, not enough commentary, but you can stand right here for a photo zone experience. Oh! I turned around. Sideways. Front, back, front. So I'm like on the sideway right here. He smashes the ground four times. So I can just go back behind him like this. Easy. Easy DPS. I don't know why that hit me. Lost dark hitbox. Got hit twice. Oh, this is his counter. This is inside outside. You see a lot of these inside outside patterns, right? This is Rowan pattern. Hmm. 
Now around 86 bars is, is such a like he kind of breaks off the stage a little bit and then he breaks the next stage off around uh, 30 bars. Majority of the Lost Ark gimmicks are based on uh, bars. This is inside safe. So the way to figure out if that is inside safe or outside safe is uh, the axe glows if out if in, um, if outside is safe. And the frontal attack is a little bit more AOE, so you have to watch out for that too. So this is a three counter. So you have to counter this three times, right? But I get I have to get hit three. I have to get hit twice because the second counter does damage. But the third counter is an obvious uh, immediate wipe. So what I do is I just need to do the third counter. And then I don't die. Very easy. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna start using dark bombs because I think I'm out of time. I gotta do I gotta do more hardcore DPS. This is the counter, but I was too late. Now this is his counter pattern. Just counter it up and spawn siren for that extra damage boom boom oh he dodged he got smart the ai got smart dalton's getting smarter dude Outside safe, inside safe. Oh, this is the shitty one. You have to time stop here. <clears throat> because this is a wipe. I only have two minutes left. I don't. I don't think I have enough DPS.
So this goes to the next phase. But I have a minute 25. Like the time, I think the time does reset after he goes to the ghost mode, but I don't know if I have enough time. I was slacking in DPS too, that's why. I bet this is gonna be the longest, longest Valton bus ride. <laughs> wait, the time, the, wait, the time does not, re okay, the time does reset. Can't get grabbed by that. So same thing, you have to counter. If you have to counter for him to get more damaged. Counter there. So I can't counter here, so I'm gonna use a space bar to dodge that CC. Because my counter was on cooldown. Okay, I need to counter here. I use die rain quickly because I'm lacking DPS. He's gonna do his next grab. So as long as I don't. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jinx myself. <laughs> Counter there. Space there. Encounter there. Play safe. And wait for this counter. And then finish him off with my W. Good. That was good, man. But the the DPS is so tight, though. You have to play really well. You have to play really well. Damn.